Alright, we should be live with the final stream for Legend of the Dragon. I've had a bit of a break between actually finishing the game and doing this stream, so might be a little rusty with the additions and the like, but it should be alright, because honestly, at this point, it's mostly Dragon combat anyway. Alright, I'm just getting a few things set up. We should be good. Well, the last time I actually ran this fight, I noticed there's a few changes I could have made. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do them this time around. Oh, and before I go on, this is at the final area, and I actually went ahead and did a little bit of farming for uh, gold. And as you can see, I actually redid all of my armor setups to have Legend Cask and Armor of Legend for my main party. Albert and Bedart both, ha both have it, and then Miranda, I made sure to leave the magical hat with her. Wait, what are you guys talking about? Anyhow, let's see here. Should have a magical hat on here. Do I not? Oh, like I have it on the rose. That's where it is. All right, so I'm gonna drop that off. And let's see here. I think I'll actually swap out his sword and accessory as well. More SP there. And let's see, do I have a mag mage ring at all? I thought I did. No. no I'm thinking of the wrong one. I think I want a magic ring. There we go. Now I have lower S or magic power on him and need to swamp that out. See how many moves serenade serenades I have to work with. Four serenades. Looks like maybe six healing rains. Should work well. Magical hat. Iron knee piece. Yeah, um I'm trying to think. I think I wanted to get him bandit shoes, but unfortunately, there's only like one pair in the game, and I decided Albert should have them instead. Yep, that looks good. Moon! So yeah, I'm basically fighting against God in this fight. Which as I mentioned, I think on my first stream, the Sailor Moon character actually prays to God for healing, so apparently she's praying to Satan who's so gonna destroy everything for heals. Don't quite understand it. I actually hit kind of hard. Alright, so let's see here. Oh, I thought if she already had enough to transform. Guess not. No, I think those are just tentacles, straight up.
Can you donate to me? I think Twitch has a subscription thing you can do, but I don't really know. Oh god, Dogecoin! I don't accept Dogecoin, I can't do anything with those. Taking a beating. Oh god, what? I don't remember this. I don't even play Dota 2. Yeah. No, I don't play TF2 that much anymore. I mean, I still play it on occasion, but I'm mostly hitting Guild Wars 2 up now. Ah, damn it, Miranda. You know what? Mine just has to healing fog on her. League of Legends? Don't get me started on League of Legends. Majestic. Blossom Storm. Favorite class from League of Legends. The only one I can even remember is Teemo, his little cat that like puts mushrooms everywhere. That's the only thing I know. Apparently everybody seems to hate him, so it sounds like my kind of class. And by class, I'm pretty sure they're called champions or something. Yeah, this boss is really weird. It gets even weirder. I promise you I will say a phrase for a boss that you will never be able to forget because of how weird it is. Um, actually, I could have transformed, but I forgot to get SP for Miranda so I could do a, um, transformation and get the elemental boost. So, I'm just kind of delayed on it. Alright, here's the transformation you were waiting for. The one I was waiting for, too, and why I respect Dart. This will be fun. Does this game have microtransactions? I mean, I guess. Eh, Dart's half health, he's not almost dead. I mean, if you count in-game gold transactions as microtransactions. <laughs> oh man, the PS1 era and microtransactions. Do those like 1-800 cut lines count as microtransactions? Yeah, the thing is, is that's, hey, that's just classic JRPG mechanics, I mean, you know, you can run them over with a bulldozer, but if they have the right armor, it somehow completely missed them. Welcome to the Divine Dragon for Dart. 
get wrecked. Pretty sure that actually hits harder than Miranda's ultimate attack. And now to heal and do mega damage at the same time, because that's not overpowered. Oh, next, time for the next phase. I think. No, that's not Skarmory. This is Mega Dragon. Dragoon. Basically. I don't even know. Let's see. Eh, why not? Gasless! <laughs> like I can actually kill it. Duh! Man, that's a baby amount. 687. What is this? Time for the other dragon attack. They take away all of his super overpowered ones that actually don't hit for shit now that I think about it and give him these two instead. Divine Dragon Cannon. Look at that. I'm not actually sure who hits harder. I know Dar hit for 1674 on his. I'm not sure what Miranda hit for. We'll see. No, he wasn't the guy that kept signing off. That was somebody else. And that's because he had, like, super shitty, like, hotel internet was trying to TF2. <laughs> I, I, I told him. I told him that everybody thought it was super funny that he kept disconnecting over and over. I'm not actually sure what the hell this boss actually is at this point. It just looks like maybe some sort of organ and it just ate one of my characters.
I still think the Divine Dragon Cannon is funny because it's so epic and then the voice line for it is just so weak. It just doesn't fit. Here we go. Wait, that's not what I thought that was at all. Well, maybe one of these days I'll get Miranda back. Red Eye Dragoon is Divine Dragon. So it doesn't entirely sync up. I don't remember it being a damage threshold though. So I thought it used to be time based because I'm fairly certain I would actually, when I was really bad at this game, it would actually like take multiple characters, but the last time I did it, it was just one character straight up. In fact, I think he took Albert last time. Oh, I think this is it. There we go, got her back. You know, I'm not entirely sure how the aerodynamics work on that kind of thing, but I don't ask questions. Yep, Miranda hits for about 500 less than Dart. That's crazy. Oh, here we go. Next phase. is trippy as shit and honestly the thing is is I've played this game like eight times through I know most of the lore and I still don't understand what the fuck they are talking about with these generations none of it makes any sense to me they literally just made something up and just kind of like threw it together for the final boss and it's like oh this is mythical but we don't know what the fuck it has to do with anything
So apparently I'm fighting against a ast an astrological pen. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. I really don't. Oh, it's a long fight. And by long, I mean it used to take me an hour and now it takes me like maybe 25 minutes. I, I don't even understand this final boss. I, to this day. Yep, screw that up. Snail tank, I guess. Does that look like a snail tank to you? Doesn't look like a snail to me at all. Oh god. Almost on par with Sibirox attack. Almost. I don't know what the fuck those things are. I really don't. Let's see what they call them. Bomb stars. They're bomb stars, apparently. Fuck them. Don't even care. They can hit me or whatever. I don't even care. Man, that was fast. Just one turn. You know what? Miranda's a little bit behind. I'm gonna use my speed up on her. I forgot she can attack all with her final weapon. Which you don't get until like before this boss fight. What the hell is it doing? It's actually pretty well full health. I'm just gonna use to do some items. Moon Serenade, recover all MP. Probably can only get four of those in this entire game. That's what happens when you buy Uber tier armor and you farm the shit out of like five or six pieces instead of struggling to get one by end game. Oh god, he's changing it into daytime. Whatever will I do? Oh, you think this is great? Just wait until later. For the next phase. Oh god, now he's a uh, satellite? And he's just throwing the sun at me, whatever. Oh, no, 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 the thing is, is I did hoard them, and this final fight is once you beat it, you don't save after, so I can just use them and it doesn't matter. I hoarded them all so I can waste them on this fight for no reason. Healing range, only get six in the game, using one. I've already done the thing I needed to do. I hoarded them till endgame, where it's impossible not to not have them. Yeah. 
command block. What is this? Better be something useless. Can't attack. Aw, oh, shit. Does he have 500 SP yet? I hope so. He doesn't. Fuck. I have so many blocked items, and that was completely useless. Do I have anything to deal with that? Doesn't look like it. Guess I'll just have to try and work with it then. Hey, you know what? I can hoard however I want. Alright, damn. Oh, uh, what can he do? Can he do anything useful? Not really. Whatever. I'll just make him start using random items, I guess. Um, I think the only way to remove the status is make him apply another one, because I don't think it actually runs out until I apply another one. Or the phase changes to a new boss. No, depetrification is an actual status for petrification, where the character can't move until they're hit again. And the shitty thing about petrification is you can actually have your entire party petrified. You know what, since I can, Miranda's gonna use the super overpowered, non-elemental bomb thing, whatever the hell it is. That was fairly decent button matching. Only hit for 1600. Only. Oh, there goes the command block. We're going to the next phase. I believe. It fish too good. So, this is the final boss form that, to this day, I still don't understand. To the best of my knowledge, I am looking at a giant zombie seahorse wearing a rice picker's hat. To the best of my knowledge, that is what I'm fighting. that up.
So I don't know if like he just like created an alternative 2D dimension to move her up there. Or make a clone of her. I don't know. I feel like it should be an insta-kill instead of a miss. That ah, doesn't look like a lily pad at all. Yes. Go. Actually, you know, I can really should put on uh, Madness Hero. It'll give me a lot more experience than what I'm getting now. Like electric, punch by like a generated electric arm or something. It's like Mjolnir's fist. I do have them available, but I'm waiting to get dark to 500 SP before I cast it. But dart is super fucking slow, so he's taking forever to get his turn. Damn it, dart. What is the zombie seahorse doing? I don't like this. Is this is it bees? What shitty bees? Yes. Go. There we go. I have enough now. Yes. Finish strong with a second set of dragons. Oh god, what is he doing? Wow, okay. I think it was Pit's final smash, I'm not even sure. Oh god, what, what is it doing? Is it singing? That sounds awful, why would it sing? And they confused two of my party members, fuck. And they're trying to run from the boss fight. You know what, just to get rid of the confusion, I'm doing it. Yeah. We'll mega green it up. Things. What? I don't remember these. These weren't a thing last time. I think the zombie seahorse with the rice picking hat just went turbo. And now he's supporting gay pride. Oh, 
Oh, that's fucking terrible. I might be fucked. Oh yeah, I forgot Legend Armor. I think they might be able to make it. Well, use Rose Storm just in case. Rose Storm! That's definitely DBZ cure right there. It's <laughs> hitty for a hundred. I'm so fucked. This isn't good. That's actually impressive. Okay, that wasn't very impressive. Uh, yeah, you, you don't on Dragoon. You have to go through all of your Dragoon turns. And I am so glad I'm using Rose Storm because those would be hitting for twice as much had I not. regular physical. It's not even worth using my magic power on it. Hitting for her like 300, which is like baby tier. Right now, it's the best I've got. Alright, that's another Rose Storm, then Albert will be out of Dragoon. Believe. It's gonna be laughable how little I uh, hit for like a hundred. That's crazy.
Just leaves Dark for Dragoon. Uh, wow, they're just called Monster? Were they that lazy in late game? Light attack matches element that way. There we go, a little better. And dragon block effect is it's even better. And now he's only not turbo? This next again. Time for Dragon Ball Z cannon. Yeah, the game probably is trying to tell me that, but I don't care. I play this game however I please. And it seems to work. There you go. Now comes the end game cinematic sequence. If you ever tend to play it, you may not want to watch, but otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and mute myself. Go ahead and watch. Go ahead and cut it. This cinematic can be found on YouTube. So, thanks for watching, everyone.